Hello Gundam fans and welcome back to another two episodes of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. This is going to be episode 3 and 4, The Glorious Demise, and episode 4, The Price of Life. So it looks like here we got the Barbie, but there's some flaws with the Barbie. So how are they going to fix that? I'm curious. Also, same with the girl, the princess, the high leader, the... I don't know what her position is within the actual authority line, but she's pretty high up there. For people to recognize her from TV and them to be defending her and people coming after her. So she must be up there. So I'm curious to see what she has in mind. Because this series has started off real strong with its characters. It actually has a really nice, like, base already. We also got that one girl that wants to see him off and give him the little necklace, our main characters. He has a lot, little bit more emotion than, like, the previous character that I've seen so far, Setsuna and then Hiro, which Hiro has absolutely none, and Setsuna doesn't develop any till later. So, at least he's got that going for him, so maybe it's going to make for a much more interesting main character, because that, that's, that was the fault with both of those. So anyway... Well, the only thing I can do is continue with the series, so let's go ahead and get into this one right here. Oh, she's trying to help. So she's actually trying. Damn, what an asshole. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he just eats it anyway. <laughs> Oh, goodness. She's got a little girl crush on him now. Tying the thumbs. That's new. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck! Okay! <laughs> Executed him. Another one bites the dust. Oh, shit. <laughs> He just wants to help. That's all she wants to do now. Forest demise. Let's go. So they just needed to get money now. Let's go. Oh, they, they got somebody coming. Alright, so he wants a duel. One on one. Damn, she's already ready to give herself up. Damn, a little bit of argument there.
Damn, he could literally his go-to for murdering people. So the more times he has the surgery... Oh, she gave it to him! Okay. But so he's had the surgery three times, does that mean it's much more efficient the more times? Or is he doing it just because he's Mi Mika? Oh, it, it definitely is the regular Barbados. It's just really messed up. He needs some love and care, basically. Damn. Damn, okay. Well, shit. Well, by Lance or Mace, the Mace, technically. Bye. Oh shit, he's still alive. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Did he actually kill him? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get into this next episode here. This is going to be episode 4, The Price of Life. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is a giant suck up now. Oh, what's he got planned now? A little rat. He's a little rat, is what he is. Oh, are these guys ranked above him or something? Because they're, like, putting him under pressure right now. Oh, yeah. Major pressure. Oh, shit. These guys mean business. They don't take bribes. Damn. They really don't have anyone that can work on a mobile suit. That's what's taking so long to repair it, it looks like. Damn. <laughs> So who is he going to choose to escort her? I see he's got, the little rat's got something planned. Where is it going out after lunch? Two? Well, they they cleaned it up pretty good, I guess. And they got the two little twins coming. Also, oh, they're helping them to harvest.
Aww. That is cute. Okay, so arranged marriage with a child, okay. Goodness. Someone caught oh he caught her. Okay. I was like, someone cut her. Damn, so he's trying to show her the reality of the world because she's kind of doesn't understand it. Oops, someone's jelly. <laughs> oh, their name is Cookie and Cracker. Okay. Oh, shit. Cookie and Cracker. Oh, <laughs> Mika, don't play. <laughs> Oh shit. He knows what the symbol is. Oh, they've already figured, he's already figured it out. Someone's gotta take a step off to the side. It's like straight up giving him a little bag of candy. Ooh. That guy's got his eye on our, our main character there, Mika. Hey, they got a new little symbol on their their base. Yeah, this dude is a little rat. Little rat, get him. All right, that's the end of those two episodes there. Looks like they're going to be heading into space, it looks like. Or are they in space? Where are they? I think they said Mars, though. So I, I want to say Mars. But um, looks like that they're going to be escorting our girl somewhere on Earth. And so, is there any colonies or anything like that? Because it looks like there's some, like, space bases, but no full colonies. I'm still trying to understand the, the world that they're in right now, because, again, this is a totally different timeline. It's still Gundam, of course, but it's in a different timeline. So, things have gone in a different direction, so I'm just trying to put piece all this stuff together. So, I guess I just have to continue watching this right here. And Mika's actually starting to become more of a likable character for me, because... I, like I said, the last two characters I reacted to, I didn't care for. Gerardo was pretty neat because he was very different. So I guess the only thing to do is continue. So if you're having it and you want to continue on this adventure through the Iron Blooded Orphans franchise or series, so the Gundams franchise, uh, please slash that subscribe button if you haven't. If you have, thank you so much. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.